Carter. Kathy Roll when you get a minute. Lee. Here. Walton. Here. Carter. All right. Do you, do you have a quorum? We do have a quorum, yes. Am I supposed to say that? You are. Yeah. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Alrighty, dive right in here. Um, Gerlich and County proposal. Um, as far as that goes, uh, this is something that um, I've been talking about for a while. Um, the uh, I don't think there is a formal proposal yet. We have a verbal. Um, I think the first way or the first thing to to do about this because I've been back and forth on this too. Um, until I talk to Nate, and I don't think that all of our committee, um, Mel included, or council has had the opportunity to to hear what you believe, you know, as our development arm, what you believe the benefit is to the city if we were to go back into a, a partnership with, with GROW. Yeah. <coughs> Since I've heard that, I, I feel pretty strongly about it's beneficial to the city, but nobody else has been able to hear that besides Tim and I. So do you mind just uh, walking the... Um, yeah, I guess Andy threw it right now, and and sure. we can. It's on. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, Tommy, we've talked about it a little bit, and, and I think, um, you know, Grow Licking. It just, I mean, Grow Licking County is obviously the our county economic development organization. They are the tie into uh, One Columbus. They're the tie into Jobs Ohio. Um, they are from a attraction perspective, from a perspective of getting leads and you know projects coming in. Um, they are the they're the group that does all that um, you know it is uh, I've been under the belief this is kind of for a long time not just uh, not just since I've been you know working with you guys for 20 years that um, as an economic development person for a city or a county if we can be part of something bigger to go to market and get more you know jobs and attract more um, payroll and attract more capital investment that we should be a part of that. And I think Grow Lincoln County is that. Grow Lincoln County gives us that ability to kind of go to market and try to bring in, you know, bring in new jobs, new capital investment, new payroll. Um, it gives us, you know, that ability to, to have a, a direct entree into One Columbus and, and Jobs Ohio. Um, not that we don't, we can do that, you know, on our own if I want, but I think it gives us a bigger platform uh, to go through them. To, to, to go you know to the to the regional and the state entity um, I also think it helps us uh, when we are trying to attract you know companies or jobs or, or uh, developers to be part of that bigger organization um, and I think there's value in it I think there will be value in it going forward um, to, to be a part of it okay um, <clears throat> I guess the the next thing I would I just would have Tim. Um, and I'll just kind of hold off on comments and questions for now, but I think the next part of that is, Tim, you've worked with Alexis on what it would look like from a contract's perspective if we were to get back in. I know you kind of um, went back and forth a couple times, and I think you, you came up with a couple different options uh, for us to, to re-engage. Is that correct? It is. Um, so starting back when... Um, you and I were first meeting with the county commissioners and they were asking us if we might consider GROW. Um, I had talked to Alexis uh, at Simmons, who of course came in here and spoke to this committee. Um, I asked her for some, legi some, some draft legislation from uh, an adjacent or neighboring municipality and I got that. It looked pretty cut and dried. Uh, basically, you know, it says that GROW will advanced, encourage, and promote industrial, economic, commercial, and civic development in Pataskala, Ohio. I am supplanting the original names with our own. Um, perform functions normally incident to the Office of the Government, employed economic development director, including economic development functions, promoting retention, expansion of existing businesses. And then we get to the part where we talk about the compensation. Well, in the time since we have left Grow, they have raised their price uh, for apparently cities of our size to 15000 If anybody that, when we talked to council, uh, some people will remember that the, the cost annually was 10000 And um, 
some people probably won't because they weren't on council the last time we, we left Drell. Uh, Kai contacted them to say, look, we're coming back in. We don't know. We, we don't still know if it's a fit. What about uh, instead of $15,000 uh, buy-in, we went with our original price. And Alexis uh, ran it past the executive board. And they said, um, okay, why don't you go 10 in year one, 12,500 in year two, and 15,000 in year three, but you have to do the three year hitch. Those are your two options. Um, and so I said, okay, I would bring that to this committee and you know whether or not that's a good idea or not, I think council and this committee will have to make a determination, but those are the two options that are on the table. As I, for me, and I didn't, I didn't uh, email her back and tell her that you know your board's crazy or anything like, because I had no feedback at the time. So I, I have since gotten a little bit of, of feedback. So I'm happy to. You know, with that said, th that's where we're at. I think mm -hmm. I think the agreement for economic development is a formality. Uh, it's already sitting at, at Brian's office. If we said we're going to go, he would plagiarize it liberally and zetsize it. Uh, it's, he tends to li not like things that are too wordy. And so far as the compensation goes, we have those two options. Yeah, I, is it, I guess for me, when I just sit back and listen to conversations when I sit in every now and then on your guys' meetings or I'm just talking to you guys, since we've left Grow, um, I see things kind of in a different perspective. Um, Obviously, um, I think the, the couple of times I've spoken to and, and met with Alexis, I really like, like, I think it's a good change in leadership. Nothing against Nate, um, because I was a little uh, there towards the end. Nate the Strom. Little, Nate Strom. Not <laughs> green, sorry. No, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, and I, I did like Nate Strom. Me. I well, did like Nate Strom. But I, I feel like the Lexus is a, is a fresh set of eyes, and, and uh, I really like, <clears throat> like how she um, approaches things from the little bit that I've seen. I think that to me, um, I think that they've made some changes within their board that are important to, to the city um, as a whole, per, important to me personally. Um, and I also feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, they never really stopped working for us. Yeah, I would agree with that. Even though they, it, it, am I, is that a good? Well, I, I would say like for, as for everybody in the interim, they stopped working for everybody. Yeah, that's true. So there was a little bit of time there where they had no director, and they were in the Well, search. sure, because there was no director. Right. But, I mean, okay, so Alexis has worked that for is us. The, that, is the, that is the point. That is the key for point. For however long she's been there at no cost. And, I mean, that means something to me. Well, we got three leads in December and another one last week. Yep. So it, Yeah, and I, and I think that, um, yeah, I think she, you know, I think – she, she will continue to work with us. Um, I think we will, yeah, we'll continue. You know, when we, we, ha we get leads, I think it's, 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 in, I think it's important for us to be at the table. You know, there's other entities that have been. I think it's important for us to have a seat and, and have, you know, if we can get a board seat, I think they've asked, right, the mayor maybe to come back if, yeah, they have. if, uh, if we join. I think that's important. I think it's, that board has to shift, especially with some of the things that they've done. So I think it's important for us to be there at the table. Randy? Well, <clears throat> I would say that um, we left Grove Licking County for two reasons. One, because of some board actions that were um, detrimental to Pataskala, but we also determined very clearly that they had done nothing to help Pataskala. Um, we went to the direction of having our own economic development director and get our leads through that um, function. You know, I don't think that $15,000, $10,000, or even $5,000 is worth paying for leads that we're going to get anyway. Um, I think we're gonna have um, a seat at the table for development in this area regardless of who we um, are members with. Um, just because we have ground, that's the number one item. Um, and Grow Licking County isn't going to do anything to provide utilities, or they're not gonna do anything to provide um, um, economic packages that we that we can we can provide we've got them on our agenda for tonight so to me I would say and I've had a few I've, I've talked Tim 
fortunately, gave me a little bit of a heads up. So I could actually think about this for a little bit. <clears throat> um, I don't think we're not going, I, I should put it this way, I don't want to put it in trouble with you. I think we will be at the table, absolutely. Um, with, if this had happened, if we had seen this proposal six months ago, it might have been a different story. But a week ago, it became a different story, a much different story. We will have opportunities, and they will come to us, and they will be site selectors that are all over this place. Um, it's happened in the last 48 hours. Um, the game changed. And for me, that means that we need to be aggressive with our own website and with our own advertisement of, of properties and helping people develop their properties here. And if we continue, my, this is my personal opinion, if we continue to, if we were to put our eggs in that basket, I think we're going to end up with the same crummy scrambled eggs as we got before. That's my opinion. Because we left for two reasons. And I don't know that one, I don't know that they've changed tremendously. So what the reasons were, just refresh my We had the board, the board um, um, obviously yep. worked very hard to preclude um, a business from moving here. Uh, that would be Shank. Yeah, I remember that. And and that one is still pretty raw in my in my um, memory. Um, that was that was underhanded, and it showed me that there were there were um, definitely ethical issues happening. When any member of their of their group is at, is adversely affected by their by them, told brought aside and told, hey, you need to stay where you're at, and here's what we're going to do to keep you there, and forget about Pataskla. That to me is there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get over that hump. Um, the second was that in that time frame where we paid, I don't know how many years were we member Eight. of? Thank you, Tim. I love asking questions to Tim. Eight. I know. So the eighty thousand dollars that we invested previously got us. Let's see, what would you have guessed? Hmm. AEP, which was terrible, absolutely terrible. So that's how I feel about it. I don't want to spend eighty thousand dollars on something that gets us absolutely nothing. That's my opinion, T Tommy. Yeah, I think we're 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 a little bit different. I respect that. Um, I think that uh, the changes what what goes a long way for me. We you know we can't we can't go back and change AP. It is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I think that we uh, the changes that were made were, regarding the situation you talked about with Shank. We still got Shank, and uh, I feel like we're past that. I, I, I do. Um, so that one's not really an issue for me. So let me ask you, what do you think has changed on their side to make sure that those things, those type of things don't happen? Two things. Number one, what the, the uh, one individual is no longer on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, the other but one, one is. Well, but that's where I was headed with the next one is, um, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, Tim, we asked Alexis about this, and uh, no, you, weren't, you weren't at that meeting. Um, <clears throat> they changed their, um, and we have our council rules, they have their rules, that uh, I believe the developers are not allowed to be on the executive board, and that other individual was set to be on the executive board, and that was disallowed. Uh, so that, it's st that one person still is a member, but they have changed the rules so that developers cannot sit in that executive role, is my understanding. And they essentially told him he cannot be the president or vice president, whatever he was set to be. Um, so that, that made me feel more comfortable. Um, and then the other one's gone, and they lived up to their word on that. And uh, So that means something to me. Oh, well, let's, for a second, did, did, did he remove himself or did they remove him? They removed him. Okay. Is, is that correct, Tim? That's I, what I, I was told. I, I was under the uh, impression that he, he left. No, I, th I was under the impression they... They, they got asked it. him to, and he didn't. So yeah, they, they, got, they got rid of him. Okay. So I well, think with, good. The, with those rules changes that's good. and their action to remove that person, um, that to me is favorable. Um, the other person is still, yes, on the board, but not in, not in an executive role and cannot be... And they, they made that change to where no other, I, I believe, I would want to clarify this, but the way I understood it was is regardless of the person, if you are a developer, you stand to profit from, from that organization, you cannot right. be on the executive board. Right. So they made that change. 
Okay. Um, so that 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 to me is where I'm comfortable there. Um, the, your second point about what they did or didn't get us, um, I, I can't argue that. The only thing I could say is is from from where I go the other direction with how I do think they can be valuable is I think they're a good tool in Nate's toolbox. I, I think that um, under the new leadership, I really I really do value the fact that she's been working for us even though they're not under contract and t- still trying to help the city out um, cool. by sending us leads without – with nothing to, I mean, I think they're obligated to do so under the Licking County commissioners. Maybe they are. I mean, they are. That's that's bottom line. They're they're, they're trying to develop Licking County, and we are we are supplementing their income for the commissioners. That's what's happening. But so okay, I, I'm not. I don't want to. So when, when, we, when we when we when we first signed up for it, yeah. we said let's give it a try. We said let's let's give it a you know let's I wasn't see what they here for that. I, that was before I, me. I, yeah, and I think we said let's give it a try, and um, we'll we'll dedicate ten thousand dollars. Now I don't think we did enough homework to find out that other people were paying five thousand and yeah. or less, so we went with the ten thousand, and we didn't get. If you want to look at who paid what, Heath pays five paid five thousand yeah. dollars at that time. We paid ten. They got ten times the amount of development. We got none. Oh, we got one. So it, to me, it was a disproportional problem, and it wasn't. So, I, so I, again, I ask, what is the value? If if you have ground, Heath had ground, mm-hmm. they had put in their infrastructure to support development, and those two things, forget about Grow Lincoln County for a second, those two things went um, a, a lot further than getting leads. Well, That's my opinion. You know, and I guess I would, if I, if, if I, if you don't mind yeah. respond, I, I think the other thing is, too, I think... Yeah, we have land. I think, you know, being at the table, yeah, we're going to be at the table. But I also think that you got to be in the room in those discussions. And you have to be in the room with the commissioners and all those other people that are on grow. And I think if we're not, if we don't pay, we're not in the room with them. And we may not find out about those discussions and, and what's going on. I, I can't, I, I don't know what happened before. I don't. Yeah, we, we paid and we weren't in the room. Yeah. but I, That's but, what happened. Yeah, no, and I think, Andy, I think, I think what, we, what we need to do now is we need to say, we're, if we do it. If we do it, right? Because I know that's that's a that's a if. If we decide to do it, um, we say we're gonna we're willing to do it, but we have to be the mayor has to be on it, and he's got to be in line to be in the executive committee, and we're gonna help shape what this organization looks like. I don't know if that happened in the past, um, but that would be my recommendation: is that we take a more active role. Because I do think, yeah, we can we're gonna have benefit from a lot of things, but I do think we if we're part of what's going on in the rest of the county, we could potentially benefit even greater. So those are just. Um, I guess, hi Jude. Um, I think we're on different sides of it, and that's okay. I think we just take it to council and let them decide. Right, I, I think so too. And let me make one more quick question. So, so Nate, when I read through your proposal, and you have a number of items that you're providing under your scope, yep. are there any items under the under Grow Licking County scope that would be duplicate? Well, what you read, yeah. That's that's a direct yeah, that's directly a direct conflict of what we do exactly. Andy. So so uh, so I'm, I'm just asking that question to no, throw I, it out there. No, Andy, you're right. Perfectly I transparent think if, here. I think if we decide to do this with Grow, that 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 is not that's not even close because we serve we have those functions. We're your economic development director. Exactly. Right. right? So, but I do think I do think that the Tommy's point is additive to what we do to have them and to end it. So, so you're going exactly where I'm heading is is I think that's a position to take with their director to say look guys we went and we went and got a competent group to do exactly Thanks, Andy, for these competent no problem a competent <laughs> and, and effective group to do what you guys are proposing to do in your first three or four paragraphs right if there's only five things you're doing and we're doing three of them shouldn't we maybe get uh, you know we should we want to come to the table at five thousand dollars, and we're willing to sign up for three years. Uh, and this is all hypothetical. I'm not speaking for. This is all just throwing some numbers out there. But if it's seventy five hundred, whatever, and we're willing to do that for three years to give you to give you a try, to get back in to see how much we can value, how much value you bring to the, to the table. I think that that's fair. Um, because I would hate. I don't. I'm not proposing to come back to Montrose and say, well, guys, 
uh, instead of forty-five thousand dollars, you're going to we think thirty thousand is fair because right. we're paying River Lincoln County fifteen. Right. But that's not that's not fair. Right. We want you to do the work. We want you to do what you have been doing. And I I mean I, I think that uh, that Montrose Group has done a wonderful job for yeah, us. I just, yeah. So I, that's that's where when I heard what he what, what Tim read, it sounded a whole lot like what we're doing right now. Well, and, except know, for being at the commissioner's table. And, and, I, and I think that's valuable. I don't know what that's worth, but I think in, in all fairness, I mean that wasn't written for us, um, so we don't know. But I get you. Yeah. I think to I guess to me the money's not. I'm not. I'm not as uh, concerned about the money whether it's ten or twelve or fifteen. I mean, if it helps, you know, when you think about what it would cost to, you know, have a, an economic development director and what we're getting <laughs> for with Nate. And, and adding that as a tool to his toolbox, I'm not really that hung up on the money, and I, I'm really not that hung up on the past because of because I can't disagree with that. Um, just because um, as I've sat back and watched over the six pa the past six months and tried to learn more, I don't feel like I feel like that they've made all the right moves to to change some of the. I mean, none of us like we. Everybody evolves and goes, and I, I feel like they're they're kind of. Um, I'm confident in the changes they've made, and I and I, there's been quite a few. I'm I'm, I'm going to push back the other side. I'm sure. confident with the changes we've made. Sure. And I believe that there are other groups, such as there's other communities, that don't, uh, belong to Burlington County that have benefited tremendously. From their own economic development group, and have had zero help from Licking County, and have developed in Licking County. I won't say zero; we'll say a little, but not fifteen thousand dollars worth. So, and I know of those groups, and I, I just period. I know of that; those examples, repeated examples. Yeah, and I think what we need to do is we need to to go back to Alexis and, and share some of his concerns and see if have her put a proposal together for us with with Nate, maybe the three of you can tackle Absolutely. that. And, um, you know, we can just take it to council and see where we're at and see, you know, if people want it or don't want it. Um, I get your point. I just see no, it a little bit this different. This was a great discussion. Yeah. This was a great discussion. I, and I, I appreciate, Nate, you being open and, and fair about, Absolutely. you know, it, it's just a, I have no um, obligation to make Nate feel good, so... <laughs> Um, no, you if, if, we're, if we were talking, I guess to me, if we were talking more, you know, um, and granted, I certainly don't dismiss the fact that ten or ten or fifteen thousand dollars is not a lot of money. It is, but um, I think that for it to allow Nate to do his job better and allow us to be more exposed, let us allow us to have a seat at the table. Um, I don't think that whether it's ten or twelve or fifteen is that big of an investment for the city. Um, to to allow us to do all those things, and I and I I don't want to get I'm really trying hard to not get hung up on the past because I was with you. I was getting frustrated too, but I've just seen the changes. I think that well, need to happen. We watched we watched a lot of other developments go in a right. very hot market, mm -hmm. go someplace else, and and be referred to other places. So it goes back to I just remember the feelings I had during that time watching. Other leads go other places, and we're, I, mean, I, I guess I, I would like to, Scott. I want to ask real quick on your on your. So when we would get a lead, we'd send something in, and it seemed like maybe we were at the bottom of the stack. Um, callbacks, whatever we, whatever information, and it was always. And, and I don't want to put this as as just as just Nick, or I'm sorry, Nate, not you, Nate, the other Nate. But it was almost like there was always a reason an excuse that we were subpar. We just didn't have this, or we didn't have that, or we didn't answer this correctly. But boy, guys, if, if you guys could just remember me, we, we got into it a few times. And we said, look, you need to put this to, you need, we need some kind of flyer. And then six months later, when we didn't get that one, he'd say, well, you guys really need some kind of flyer. It's like, uh, I had numerous, numerous discussions with him. And it just seemed like, you know, if we lost, it was our fault. Um, if we weren't part, if we weren't at the table, it was our fault. And we didn't, we didn't answer the questionnaires correctly, or we didn't have enough information for them. Or there was always a reason. And remember, we asked him to try to give us a library. 
Remember, I believe you even brought this up. Every time it was like a new, it was all new. We had to do a whole new program, and they gave us 24 hours to do it. Hell, when I was the when I was in your seat as a temporary, it was here's a league. You got six hours. Get it together here. Mm-hmm. Send it back in, and it was garbage. You could you couldn't. So I don't know if that changed at all with with Grow Lincoln County. From what I recall, it didn't. We had very limited time frames. Um, we had. I'd rather spend fifteen thousand dollars lobbying with Grow Lick, with uh, with uh, Columbus Twenty Twenty or or any of the other groups so that they call us directly because what would, what I remember happening very clearly was it would come to come to Grow Licking County five days before it was due it would go to everybody else and we'd get it a day before it was due and we'd have less time to get it done and it was like well you know I I worked my way down the list that doesn't seem fair. Doesn't seem right. Yeah, but I think, but I mean, how long ago was that? I, I, mm-hmm. I would think it wasn't that long. Like, so there was, when I started in this position, May 14, there was someone, there was a predecessor to me. Yeah. And I found what you referenced where it was like, here's a lead, you got two hours to fill in all these blanks. It was more prevalent then. With Nate came, came on, that got better. And also with his predecessor, We'd have a lead, we'd talk about it, and it didn't work out, and we'd say, why? And we never got a response. Because if there was a problem, if you only had this or did this, you would get these all the time. It's like, well, let's go fix that efficiency. So with Nate coming on, that got better. Um, there wasn't as many instances of, here's this, fill it out, go back to it quick. Um, but there was still some times that we had to fill in some things that it's like, don't you have that information? We so. never got to the point where we had a library, where we had everything kind of, here's our site, there you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just never well, had it. I think, I think what we need, at the end of the day, we need to, we need to probably have, do this again. Um, we need to go back and ask some questions. And maybe, maybe Alexis will come, maybe not. We'll have another development committee meeting. And let's, let's see if she can come out and answer some of these questions so that we can kind of put the past in the past. And if they haven't changed, then that, that helps us make our decision. But. You know, I don't want to sit here. I get it, Andy. Like I'm, I totally understand. There's no rebuttal for that, but I don't want to say, yeah, I'm not going to go with them because of something that happened well, ten years ago. Okay, so let me. My my point. Would I be, wouldn't hear if I'm a business person, and, yeah. and I am a business person, yeah. and and something gets screwed up, and I'm like, okay, I lose a contract. I, I'm going to come back to you and say, look, give me a chance. I'll right. do it for. I'll do it at cost. Right. If you give me a chance to prove that I've and I've changed five things. And, I, and, I, and I've taken that lesson, and I've learned how to do it better, and how to how to supply you with what you want. And here's the five things I've done. But how about you give me a one year probation chance to get back in and show you that I can really do a great job? So would you be? Um, I'm just curious by this. And if if they said we'll give you the first year free if you sign up for three, it's contingent. And we went. They said, okay, we'll give you first year free, but sign up for three years, and then it's 15 and 15. So, I mean, is that what you're, is that yeah, what? Yeah, it's kind of what I'm saying. Is that what you're I'm saying? I'm not saying for free, but I, I don't, yeah, I, I wouldn't mean, ask what, anybody to do anything for free. I guess what's the number so Tim can go back to So, I, I think we had, I had at least talked, and this could have been a year ago, could have been two, time flies, um, you know, that I at least said in the past that I thought $5,000 to get back in the door. And, and show us what they can do. What they, have they changed? I would be willing to. I would. I would be like, yeah, let's do that. Let's see what it is. And then if if they are of value, if they are, if they do um, exercise that that extra, um, you know, place at the table, we do get a, a seat at the executive board and so forth. And we feel like the fifteen thousand dollars a year is a great investment for our development. Then yes, I would. Absolutely. But would you be willing to do? Are you? You wouldn't be willing to sign up for a three-year without. No. I think it's fair right now to say to them. I was going to say seventy-five hundred. That's half. You know. I'm will. I, you know. So seventy-five hundred would be half of the fifteen. T- five yeah. was half of the ten. I just so. don't know. I mean, Tim's already negotiated this. I. I don't. Tim, you talk to him. What's your vibe if we went back and said, "Hey, can we just do one year?" I, I have absolutely no idea. You know, there's. I mean, that discussion happened. I asked, uh, "Can we come back in at the original rate?" And uh, the negotiation is too strong a word. Yeah. You know, 
I asked, they convened their executive board and came back with that. Now, is it possible that I could go, well, look, we had a discussion of development, and I don't know that the development committee is ready to jump back in at that rate. Can you sharpen your pencil? And if they go no, say, okay. I mean, I don't, I, what other option is there? Right. The other thing is, and I point this out to two long-standing elected officials, you guys are sitting here having this debate when it should, in the end, the debate should be among seven. Absolutely. And so I would probably think, I, as I've listened to my tasks being assigned, at first I thought, draft the legislation so we can have the discussion. Now it's go back and talk a little bit before you draft the legislation so we can have a discussion. And I, I'm fine with either one as long as we know that option two comes at a longer length of time. And I would also suggest that I be directed to ask them if there is a time crunch associated with this. Yeah, and that's part of that too is because I kind of thought that there was as far as the appointment you know, they make they're, they're planning on making their appointments in February, and they they've asked the mayor to come back on. So I, you know, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. We, I think we should confirm that. But I mean, at the end of the day, we could just we could leave. You could write the legislation, and we could leave the number open ended until we can negotiate. You know, or call them and see where they're at, and then just bring it to council and have the discussion. I can't bring it to council until that negotiation is done. I can't I can't bring it to council and say approve me to enter into this when we finally get to a number. That number is part and parcel of the of the legislation that says you're going to do it. So we got two options and we can we can just take it to council as is and we can have this discussion there. Or we can if 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 we all agree that it's better to maybe push it back to the as long as there's not a time crunch, you know, on their end for the appointment um then you know pushing it back to the second meeting of February, and allows us to have another one of these with with some more answers. To me, I, like I said before, I, the difference between five or ten, you know, I, I I'm more I've kind of gone back and forth because when I originally heard the options, I was kind of more in the three year because it saved us money. But I, if if they're willing to do a ten thousand dollars for the first year in a three year contract, you know, maybe you go back. And we just say, hey, we'd like to do one year, but we'd like to do it at 10 to see that, that we're getting what we think we're getting. And, you know, we, we, could, we could talk about those next two year, years after the first year. I don't know. I mean, I'm happy to do that. I just want to, I want to make sure everybody's cognizant of what that means because I can't do it by next Wednesday. No, you can't. So let's just decide that here and there what we're going to do. They so know all those issues, the, the stuff that happened before. I mean, Alexis I, is, you know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I, yeah. I so, mean the, so I, I think we we were pretty frank with her when we spoke to her. Um, I don't know that we were that detailed. And what she said to me and Tommy and what the commissioners have said is we know there were problems. That's behind us. Now, did we did we hit the tennis ball back over the net and say? I wish I could say that to my clients. I know there were problems, and that's behind you. So just pay me more. I, I dude. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just I, I baffled that's by this. No, I mean, this, that's, um, that's why I ask. I mean, by this you know, argument, it might be I wasn't even to go back to him and just say that. Hey, we, you know, there we we really need to talk about this because yeah, it was the past, but we've got we've got council members that still know that, and we need to really rectify that. And and you know, a good way to do it, Tommy, is let's give it a try. We're going to give it a one year try. See what happens. They need the money. So we're basically saying we'll give them a one year try, we just don't want to give them the 15000 um, That was my original. That's what I'm hearing. That was my <laughs> original <laughs> offer, and it was rejected <laughs> summarily by the board. So I will. Um, I, I have no, I mean, not. I, what, what is it? It's a call to. to Several commissioners and, and Alexis, or Who's a meeting. The president of Epic, Tim. I don't even know. It was, it was. Uh, it's John Mayor Johns, or, or yeah, well, but he's but he's. Oh, that's right. He's not a mayor anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Jim Lewis. No, but Jim, I, I don't think Jim's there anymore. Mm -hmm. So maybe they appointed in February. I don't know. Yeah, and this I will say this. I hear you. Is this Commissioner I, Flowers? I, 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 is I, he becoming the president? At the chair. I don't think a commissioner is a. 
can can be a member of the executive board. How, how about we do this? As long as there's not a with the appointment of, and we can check on that as if, if, as soon as tomorrow. If there's not a time crunch, why don't we just? I'd like to get it done with one way or the other and off the plate, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything to to go one more council meeting yeah. into February so we can we can get all the an, all these questions answered. And I, and I do want to go back to the issue of what part of that of is Nate not doing? So I really want to I really want to emphasize that we went down a path we went down a totally different path we went down a path where we went. Well, that's what they were doing for Ed. We don't know what they haven't put a proposal. That's for exactly us. correct. So that's really the key piece to this. I think is guys put a put a put a, a task force specific proposal. Um, proposal together, and I you know I want them to point out we've got eight thousand acres to develop. Okay, does that mean anything? We've got more acreage to develop than most communities. Period. Um, I also want them to understand that that um, we do have um, some limitations as far as utilities go. Okay, great. We should go into this completely eye open, completely. And we've got we've got um, we've got a group. We've got more people now in the position of development and in in the position of zoning than we did when we hired them before, and we needed them before because we didn't have as much support. We have more now, so we're paying more since we have more support. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's all. I'm not denying that that having a place at the at the commissioner's table is good, but I can tell you this: we are going to be extremely valuable to Licking County. That there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I think we have a little bit more say in how this operates than just being dictated to. There's going to be 15, or it's going to be. Some terrible three-year deal. Well, I shouldn't say terrible. It's going to be some three-year deal that is non-negotiable. Yeah, I know. That's just my feeling on it. I think that gives me marching orders. I think we hit the pause button. Let's go talk to them. Yep. And I'm maybe we set up a, a conference call, and I'll I can try and we can all talk on the same. Or we can uh, go however you want to go. Meter. Or we can go down for lunch or whatever. But I guess I just. I don't remember some of those. I wasn't here when Great Licking County came in. I wasn't part of the, I wasn't part of council that was here when I got here. I never knew the guy from before. I never knew about all these things. So, you know, the, he, he was my he was a he was huge. So, I mean, from what I see, I, I I'm in favor of it because I see it as a as a win for the city for not a lot of money. But I guess to do our due diligence, we need to go back and make sure all the things, all the concerns from the past are rectified. I like what they've done in the past six months a lot. The changes they've made to their rules, the, the changes they've made on their board, and I like Alexis. So somebody somebody once told me that a smart farm boy is something that words are cheap, actions speak. And, but, uh, but I feel like they have. Well, they haven't for us. Well, they, we in are, what way? We are I mean, I, that's what I'm arguing right now is but in what way? And what have they done for us in a year since Alexis has been there? But we're not part of growth. Well, but you've said, but you've, but the, it has been stated that they have been helping us behind the scenes. They have been. with what? Well, I mean, they, Did you they, say they got us three leads or something? Yeah, yeah they, I mean, we get we get leads all the time from them, and I think that that's. I, I'm not going to ju judge her on that because right. she has. Here, 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 just let me tell you, there's there's developers that get leads all the time from from uh, Columbus, you know, from Columbus and grow and not grow. It comes. It doesn't come through grow. It comes through, they are a siphon. Right. It comes in and it goes to grow and then grow distributes it out to their, their community. And I, and I think our challenge there is if we aren't a member of grow, we, we have to pay directly to one coin to get those leads. That's what we have. Because the developers that get them and the brokers, they're members of one Columbus. That's how we get those leads. And what's, what's the membership at one Columbus got? That's something to know. I don't know, Andy, because it actually, it's, it's a I different, I mean, you actually, a community has to be a member of Moe to be that so that's a whole different yeah I, I just don't think it's it's we can't say what has she done for us in the past year since she took over we're not a member of grow right we're, we're not we're not part of it right well then if, if we then would interview somebody who has been a member of grow for a year I think that would be worthwhile at least knowing their opinion have they gotten the value and if they're paying 15 grand and they're similar situated to us you know have they got the value would they do it who again would that be I don't um, I don't know if I don't know if new I mean I don't Newark know if maybe Newark Newark probably pays that or more they might pay twenty five or thirty I mean 
was the first? I would probably say, well, I, it's on. It's a public document. What's that in the frame? How? Um, five. Probably. Probably five. Yeah, I would say five. Yeah, okay. The population base, the key yeah. structure is population base. Yep. Yeah, I think yeah. it's pretty close to us in the population. Yeah. Well, I think it's worth at least getting some more homework. I agree with you, Tom. Uh, but I also agree with Tim that it's a seven-member discussion, and I think it's fair to have that discussion before well, do we, we just want to have final negotiation with why it? Why don't we just have the discussion the next meeting? So, just should we just go ahead and draft the language? And but we, we need a proposal from you. I think so. Right, we need a proposal before. I I don't know. I uh, my theory was I was just going to have Brian plagiarize this. That's not. I wasn't going to ask him for some for only because I hadn't heard this conversation. But I don't know. What, what are you going to do that's special? What are you going to do that he's not doing? So I, I have no problem asking that either. You know, um, well, yeah, what are you going to do? And if the answer is no, then I'll come back and tell you the answer is nothing. Why, do, why don't we just, um, I don't think we need a recommendation or anything to council, but why don't we just say we're going to move this discussion to council? Because you can't do it without the legislation. Well, we're, we, we could have made a recommendation. If everybody was on the same page, we could have recommended. Can we recommend that it moves to discussion at council? Well, I, I, that recommendation, recommendation would have come with legislation. I, I guess you could, uh, you know, where in the hierarchy of our meetings, what drives it? We usually do not. I guess we could do it under my own or your, Scott's uh, report. I would say under your report. And I don't mind doing that, but we, we should be, yeah. So uh, it, it, maybe that's what we do. And we just, I just give a report. Or we could do it under your, re, under your, your, development, your, committee your development committee report as a chair. And say uh, we'd like to have an open discussion right now about this, and and you know rock and roll and let everybody weigh in. And if everybody says nope, no, let's we're not doing anything until we get more facts, that's okay. And if everybody says nope, don't care about facts, Tim draft the legislation for the next meeting, and we'll have the fight again on the floor. That's fine too. And that's how legislation works. So. I think that's a good that's a good plan too. So we're all in agreement. Let's just uh, we'll we'll have the discussion at council. At council, and if you could be there, that'd be. It's next week. It, that too. Oh no! It's, no, it's two weeks. It's um, it, well, it's February seventh. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah. And, and we can we do can. some. Yeah, we can have a conversation with Alexis and, and and maybe have some of these questions answered. Sure. Uh, prior to. But let's just have it at council. Okay. Good. I agree with that. All right. Um, oh, pal, that was bonkers. Is it February 7th? Always enjoy our debates. Sure. <laughs> 7th? Probably want to give council a heads up, too, just as you're talking to them, that that'll be a lengthy discussion. It will. Uh, during, during committee chair reports. So. Um, <clears throat> all right, moving on. Um, Innovation District TIF CRA. I'm going to pass that over to Scotty. Scotty. So, Innovation District, this is in the northwest corner of the city. Um, on the comprehensive plan, the chief of land use map recommends innovation, which is exactly what is recommended for the Corpus Park. Um, it's part of developing it to that. It's, it's mostly large scale industrial. Part, it does also allow office and retail. Recently, I've been receiving some inquiries because there's a large tract of land up there for large scale development. A lot of them, as you know, with the Corner Park, are interested in what the center would provide. So, Long Terms has provided us kind of with a draft CRA for the area. The results of discussions for implementing TIF. If we were to do one or comes in, we can do both the TIF and the CRA, just the CRA, just the TIF, or none of them. It's just a tool, a toolbox to have. Uh, so before we went down that avenue, we wanted to make sure the development committee was okay with us developing those and then kind of pursuing and moving it on from there. I, I think it's a great idea. Um, I, If you could do them both, I, I would say do it. What's I don't think there's any negative to that. And it gives us the ability. So we have to, um, 
you know, for the CRA, we have to, for state law, we have to do this housing study. We have to do an application to the state. Council has to pass legislation. Um, so that, this housing study would be part of, you know, that, that legislation and our application to the state. That gives us the ability, it all, what it does is, like the other CRA district, it gives, it gives us the ability to offer tax abatement there if we want to. It's not a guarantee. You don't just get it because it's there. But it gives us the ability to negotiate with them and bring it back to the development committee and then say whether we want to do that or not. So, uh, and we, you know, we think it's a good idea because we've seen activity there. We can also at the same time, because we've heard some uh, developers would rather use a TIF than the CRA, we could put a TIF district in this place at the same time, but just it would have set up a district, it just wouldn't go into effect until we have any capital investment there and until a developer wants to use it. So, you know, the, the comp, the, our thought is, let's move forward with setting up the CRA there, maybe move forward with a, di a TIF district as well, um, so that it gives us the ability to have those tools when developers come. We know that, I mean, one of the, the property up there is already in, I'll, I'll say in play, it's got users, it's got people that are interested, um, and we don't know which they're gonna want, but we wanna have that in place so we're kind of ready to go when it, when it comes up. So you guys are just asking for giving us a heads up to make sure we're good with you guys yep. moving forward on that because yep. we don't have exactly. the legislation yet yeah. we don't have the legislation ready for you to do the cra or the tip we really just want to get your thoughts and something you want to do and we move, keep moving forward with it or, or we don't so I, and i think we didn't want to have go through the entire rest of the work to create the legislation to come to council and then have council go we never talked about this we had no clue right so you're going to look into both yeah. Okay. What do you the, think, Dan? Yeah, and we already did. We did this, the housing study. Yeah. That's that's the. I'll say that's the hardest part of it. So we have that already. So you know we're ready to, to do the CRA application. And then there's a bunch of other documents we got to do. We just want to know if you're good with that or not. So a couple quick questions, Scott. You said that the uh, comprehensive plan require or, or suggests a CRA mm -hmm. and or TIFs. That's not specific to this area, but that's in general, correct? It's it's. One of the action items is that we, for lack of a better term, market the innovation district in the northwest portion of the city. So in order to effectively do that, I think we need the CRA. If the TIF doesn't help, then then we're kind of checking the box of the DOT to action items on the comp plan. So okay. it's a, gotcha. essentially it's a, it's a means to an end. To okay, so but that, I guess that was my point. I was just clarifying. It didn't say specifically to do it here. It just said... Innovation, innovation area needs to be marketed because there's a lot of pressure, development pressure coming from the north. Uh, and you're saying the marketing tools are these items. They could also be a flyer. They could be, you yeah. know, whatever. We I could do a lot of different things for marketing. Okay, I just want to make sure. The other one, you guys took some pictures of some dilapidated houses, but there are some really nice houses up in that area. Um, and so how does that affect exactly? So we, for the housing study, you have to prove that there's houses that need that need to be rehabilitated. Right. So that's why those are included in here. We don't have to include, include any of the ones that- It doesn't that are, adversely affect the study. It doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. Um, Just it, making you know, sure. The, the, the state is a state law requirement. I say that. A couple yeah. five million dollar houses. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's a state law requirement, Andy, so it's something that we, you know, we have to have in there. That's why we put it in there. Okay, um, and then my last question is, uh, as far as timing goes, when you are looking at this, um, CRA versus TIF. Um, CRA to me seems like a pre-development tool. Yep. TIF seems like a development tool. Mm -hmm. So I would be more in favor of the CRA being established and in place yep. um, than I would to put a TIF in that place or a district in that place because that's one of those, that's a negotiating position, in my opinion. This is just my experience with TIFs is that's a negotiating yep. position, especially when you start identifying Utilities and you start identifying. We don't have until that's not our that's not our service area. Right. Um, so a TIF can be utilized for a lot of different reasons, including outside utilities, um, whether they be public or private. Right. They can be used for a number of different things, and we don't know what those things are yet at this point. So to me, to to make, I don't think you. I'll put it this way: you could you could build a a sandal that would fit twenty different people, but it'd be better to build the sandal that fits one in my opinion. So, and I don't disagree with that, Andy. I think we were trying to really react to the market in our discussions. We know that there are, there are people that wanted to use a TIF and there may be people that want to use the CRA. 
The CRA is a tool that you have in place that it, that takes longer. It takes four or five months to do this. Just to, you know, it already took a month to do the housing study. Yeah. Um, so we could certainly do that. We could just put the CRA there. It's an overlay kind of. Uh, and then when a developer comes to us, we say, okay, we have this. We could also put a TIF in place. TIFs are quick. Yeah, I mean, I mean are, it's legislation and it's them saying. So yep. we can certainly do that. Too. That would be my opinion of it. I, I, we talked about that, and I thought we – correct me if I'm wrong because we talked a lot about a lot of stuff. We did. Um, I thought we – we again, the CRA does take longer, but we if we just went ahead and did the TIF, it's it, it kind of uh, – it's, it's out of the up. way so that we can use it for exactly what yeah. you thought – what you said as a, mar as a, as a negotiator, um, but it was there – and well, if we didn't want to use it, we didn't have to. We, we should can, also, I mean, uh, if I may, we should also remember that the Innovation District is not only, I think of abatements as being on large items. And if the people that come in here want to put in a combination retail, housing, something, they're not going to get necessarily an abatement for that. Yeah. We're not going to give them an abatement for that. But what they really might want is, Hey, I got to run water here, and it's going to cost me a million dollars. Well, that the avenue to that is the TIF. Correct. And the other issue that came to light is access, mm -hmm. particularly to the easternmost property because you have these odd intersections, Morse Beach, and Park State, that span two, almost three different jurisdictions, that there needs to be money set aside to improve that. So that's that's why we originally came to this group with both of them. Right. I, I mean, I would tell you that I think our involvement with that is going to be right away. That's about all we're going to have to. I mean, for my opinion on that intersection at least. Um, but anyhow, that's just me. Um, okay. So let me ask this question. Last question: uh, School involvement with either one of these. Um, you know, we we have a uh, school district that is somewhat, sometimes a little bit difficult to deal with. Um, and, and sometimes comes out of the blue with some great ideas and sometimes not. So what involvement would they need to be a part of either one of those discussions? Or have they been a part of the discussion? They have. Okay. Uh, we, for the CRA, we have to notify them because all we're doing is setting it up. We aren't setting any rate right. of return. Right. Uh, the TIF, we'd have to talk about that because it may be something where we just set up a TIF where, you know, it, um, it, uh, it's a non-school TIF, and that's not an issue. Uh, right. It could be something where we set it up, it's 100% 30 years, and there's a pilot payment back to them. Um, I think that we would have to discuss that with the that, that goes back to my point that I think a CRA is a really great idea, and, and there's, as long as there's a temperature taken of whether or not a TIF is acceptable or even something we would we would entertain, I think that's also a great idea because <coughs> that's a case-by-case case step. As Tim said, sometimes you bring in – 10 employees, sometimes you bring in 1,000 employees, and that's a whole different story. And, I, and you know, Tommy, that's a, and that's a good, I hadn't thought about the school's impact. The TIF will be something we'll have to negotiate with them, so maybe we could. I, that's up to you guys. I think yeah. we're, the conversation is just, are you good from the development committee to move yeah. forward looking into these things? Yeah. And I think, go for it. And I, think we've, I think we also come up with a pamphlet, because we don't have a pamphlet for that site. That's true. I'm just we kidding. Can do, we can do that. We can do I'm a PowerPoint. Joking, I'm joking with you. Uh, is uh, that what you guys were that. looking for? Uh, <laughs> that's perfect, Tommy. Yeah. But um, a flyer. I know we're we're pressed for time, but I do want to circle back to the to the grow discussion for one second because I just thought of something. And I think we can do this. We can. Why don't we go into executive session and talk about it? Have a conversation about because we can go in there for development, right? We have before. Why don't we go in and, and hash it out in executive session? I don't mind. Speaking. I would prefer that, quite frankly, because we can speak very, very, and we can have Nate in there, and he can say what he wants to say, also, I, and Scott. I, I really, I think, I was just thinking that that might be the best, the best way to do it. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. Okay, Tim, can you add an executive session? I can ask Mr. Zetz to make sure that it's appropriate, and then add it, because I know we've gone in there to talk about grow before, and and other development. That's that's one of the four things, right? There is an economic development, but that is the one that it's negotiations with companies. We'd have to look and see. We have to ask Brian if we can do that because it's well, there is no negotiation with a company. Yeah, like but, for trade secrets and those kinds. Yeah, of things. like if Project Oreo, we can go in under economic development and have frank discussions amongst the elected officials and and the administration. I don't know if 
we want to go in there to talk about going to grow, it's going to trip the trigger. I would be in favor of that. Okay. Can we look into that? If not, we'll just go, we'll do it the way we talked about in committee reports, but I just thought of that, so. Okay. How are we set for time, Mr. Chandler? Uh, what's that? How are we set for time? Uh, we got 20 minutes. Is that what you asked? Yes. Yes. Okay. I think the next three are just more of an update kind of thing, so I'll just, Tim, you go for it, and then it goes Tim, Nate, then Scott is what I got written down for the next six, seven I think, years. I think that's right. So uh, the TPA JED petition is si quite simply the, uh, you heard me say at council last Tuesday that uh, we did have a meeting of the JED board. Uh, uh, TPA has notified me that they do intend to uh, commence work in April. At some point, they will need to petition to enter the JED per the development agreement between us and TPA. Uh, they've asked me about that. Uh, part of that discussion, and I also referenced this Tuesday, is we need to reconstitute the JED board, which to me, reconstitute sounds almost wrong. It's initial. It's almost like the initial constitution, although there is certainly a board that sits now. Um, once that board is reconstituted, we will go. Th we would go through the uh, process of uh, of having TPA uh, petition to join the JED. Anything I'm and then where I really need you, Nate, is I don't remember if they petition the Harrison Township and the Pasqua City Council approve and then the board accepts, or no? Would you just stop right there? That's exactly what happened. Perfect. And Newark is not. Nope. Oh, well, Newark, I mean, Newark's not part of that, Jed, right? They are. Mm -hmm. Oh, right there is? Right now, then, Newark okay. chairs it. So then, then Newark has to also approve it. Okay, so Newark, Harrison, and the Pasqua. Yep. I Sorry. forgot about that, because that's the extra income tax we have. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, so they all have to approve it. We, all, we, have, to have, a hold, we have to hold a public hearing before, the, before essentially that petition is approved by the council. But you, you can, we can hold a public hearing. Sure, just like we do for ag. Yep. Um, so yeah, we do that, and then we just, you know, it goes before council of legislation of, um, to accept the petition. More than anything else, I just wanted the development committee to know that that was on yeah. the horizon. It's okay. a great thing. It brings in income tax. I mean, that's that's what we want. Sure. All right. Do you agree with that? Uh, the next thing up is, and I'm not running the meeting, Tommy, but you go <laughs> for it. Nate, you're up. And All right. I'm pulling back I've already in, seen this. So my own way. <laughs> I've already. So I don't want to go through all these items because, you know, we're running short on time. We put together, but Andy, for you, because Tommy's already seen these and Scott and Tim live them, but um, with us. This is, we put together our, our yearly plan. So if you look, it's it's in there. It's like is it the, the one page? Second to last, third to last page. Yeah, it has the red mantras at the top. It's one, one page. page. Yes. Okay. Just it's make a sure. draft, but that's only because I forgot to take. Yours draft looks like a lot more than yours. Okay. Go ahead. Um, but this is actually so. This is. Uh, I mean, it's, we, I put it on one page just so that we could that's review fine. it. But um, you know, there's it, there's five buckets: general economic development consulting. That's really just the stuff we do on a week, you know, daily, weekly basis, um, where we're providing, you know. Advice, counsel, services back to the to the administration to and to council, um, going after grants and loans that we talk about that we you know that we need that are economic development related. Um, number two is something that we that we also you know do and that's uh, the incentive analysis, the reporting um, of the of the incentives and the and the establishment of those. So like the that in, that innovation CRA that fits in that bucket. Uh, bringing things to council like the TPA Red Rock when we work through that, which is, you know, we jumped into that real quick when we started working with you all. Uh, that falls into that bucket. But really that's, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a kind of an ongoing thing. We have to do reports. We've got to, you know, do annual reports, those kind of things. So that's really what that is. Um, we also put the last three are a little bit outside of that, but I would say uh, number three is just, you know, engagement with the local partners. Um, originally, when we started this, I put this in here because we were having discussions really with that in the township, and I knew that we have to have those discussions about refugee roads. Uh, we're still having those discussions. Tim and I are engaging those. I have to miss that meeting next week, but certainly, um, you know, that is part of what we'll do and continue that. 
Uh, Jersey Township's another one. You know, that's we're going to have to have those discussions. So I think we are happy to do that, we're, and we're happy to be at the table. Um, I, Tim knows I don't want to be involved in all the engineering discussions because those are boring. They're hey, boring, and whoa, I don't whoa, care whoa. about them. <laughs> Nothing wrong with engineering. No, and I'm not an engineer, so. Uh, but that's what the local, the, you know, and, and that's what the engagement with them. Uh, site development planning is really uh, helping, continuing to, as we go through our sites, figuring out what sites make sense in the city, what sites we have to put incentives on. The Innovation District is a good example of that. But looking at our comprehensive plan and saying, okay, where's the next thing and what do we want to, what do we need to do there to make sure that it's right and that we have a property card and that we're ready to market it. Um, and then the last is marketing support. And that kind of goes, you know, to, to what we were just talking about, um, about getting, kind of getting the word out, you know, getting the property card ready, getting the brokers, getting the developers and saying, hey, here's what we have, come on in and, and we want you to build that. So that was very quick, but that is. So Nate, if I, this is all great, but if you look to some of the communities that are being very successful in, in bringing people in, yeah. what do you think we need? That, that's really the key question that I have, and I've oversimplified sure. it. It's probably sure. six or seven pages, mm -hmm. but if you if you really boil down, drill down into what are they doing that makes them, you know, successful in getting the, the leads, whether it's Heath, whether it is New Albany. You know, New Albany's a little bit of a different story, but but anyhow, but if you bring it down to Obetz or wherever where <coughs> they're, they're experiencing tremendous growth and development, and, and they are doing what to make sure that they get those leads or well, get those success? so, I mean, there's two different things there, right? OBETS doesn't get leads. They don't. The developers come in and they build buildings and those developers bring in, bring in companies. Right. Um, New Albany, that's a different story. You know, they go out, they market themselves, but they also have a budget that, you know, pales in comparison. That's what I said. They're a different story. Different story. But what are they doing? Yeah. What can we do? What can we glean from what they do well, that we can afford to do? Yeah, I mean, Andy, I think one of the things, we've talked about it, we didn't really have a chance to do it last year just because of all the stuff that was going on in the corporate park. But one of the things I want to do, and we've talked about this, is, uh, and, this, and I did this when I was in Pickaway County. I was the director there for five years. And every six months or a year, I would bring down brokers and I'd bring down developers. And I would say, I'd host them for lunch. Yep. It's and cheap. I would say, here are my sites. Now, I was, I was, I was pitching Northern Pickaway County because that abuts Rickenbacker. Yeah. And now it's you know there's five thousand jobs there. Now, you know I didn't bring them there, but I certainly. So it's it's a spark. Is, You've yeah. got to light the spark. You've yeah. got to light it. If you don't light the spark, if you don't do it, then it's not going to happen. Right. Once it starts, you better get out of the way. Yeah. And I, and so that and we you know Tim and I have talked about that a lot. I, I think that's something we need to we need to we Montrose needs to do a better job of helping this year to do that. Okay. And identifying the site. So that is something that is something we're not doing. That is something we need to do. And I think that is something that we can we can be proactive about. I mean, you know, I I have been in Central Ohio and Economic Development for 20 years. So I've gotten to know a lot of these real estate brokers and I know the developers, some of them I work for. Um, so we can absolutely do that, and that's something I think we can do that is not being done right now. Edna doesn't do that. Edna just got lucky that Prola just decided to go there. You're exactly right. And all we need is one. That's right. Well, so. you, you know, we've got Red Rock and TPA. Yeah, Red and that's gonna, that is that is going to spark. There's yeah. going to be plenty of activity with Absolutely. that. But what can we do to help them yeah. but bring, in, but bring think, in their friends? And I think that that is, I think going to brokers certainly. Yeah. Okay. And talking to them about it is, 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 is helpful. And Tommy's going to get mad at you. What's that? Yeah, Tommy's going to get mad at you. You're yeah. using all your time. I'm using all your time. So I, I just wanted to bring that up. That was kind of maybe even a, a slight just to think no, about as we look at this. And these are these are all great items, but really, when it comes down to it, that's yeah. the one that I I asked the question: What are we doing to do that? Yep, absolutely. No, no. I'm not talking anymore. It's fine. You can talk all you want. <laughs> yeah, but then I steal Scott's show. I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, yeah that's right. that. you guys got you got <laughs> Tim, it's Amber, pretty anything easy. else on that? <laughs> No, he's he, uh, obviously Nate's right. He, uh, we uh, we have discussed that. When you look at everything that's on our plate, and I think in the last uh, the last year we were quite busy doing the stuff that we were doing. But it certainly has already been pointed out in our internal discussions that that reaching out to brokers and marketing is something that needs to happen this year. Right. I'm going to take it one step further for another thirty seconds. 
if Nate, if that was fifteen hundred dollars a year to do that, I'm all for it, one hundred percent. I mean, that's how much I. And I know we we looked at what you had provided to us for a contract. We said, oh, is, do we really need to do this five thousand yeah. dollar additional thing? If if that's what we need to do for you know once every six months, and we spend five or six hundred dollars hosting some a group here, great. Yeah. That is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. You good? We'll even invite Grow Living Cali. <laughs> Maybe they'll do it for us. Maybe they'll do it for us. <laughs> just kidding, Tom. Maybe they'll pay for it. That'd be, that'd be yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Scotty got nine minutes. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, are you pressed for time? I feel like you got. I'm good. Oh, you're good. Okay. I was going to say. Yeah. So, this is the list of the development activities that the planning and zoning department has on our radar. Um, some of these will be direct involvement with the developer committee. For example, if you look on top of the page with the innovation ERA, some of those types of things we discuss, discussed it tonight. So, that will be more development committee focused. Other items um, with updating the code and doing things of that nature. Past practice has been planning and zoning identifies an issue with the code or something that likes to change, comes with legislation to the development committee, say, here's what we're proposing to do, here's why, and then development committee typically makes a recommendation to move it on through the process, which checks the box to initiate a zoning exchange. So most of what will be the majority of the concern or impact or involvement with development committee will be at the top of the first page of the rest code changes and updates, which really helps us because it's it's been a list here or there that this way we were able to consolidate and kind of see what we need to do. Also with that, there's a lot of things if we look to the action items and the comprehensive plan, that a lot of these things dovetail with some of those things we need to do. So that's also helping us implement those action items from the comprehensive plan. <coughs> that was my major question is, I, I actually asked him uh, at the last meeting, hey, can we just get an update on the action items out of the comprehensive plan? I don't know if you can do If we have that in a word form, obviously, if we can go through and say, uh, working on, done, not working on, done, whatever that is, mm -hmm. it's not in your in your list, but I know that's a huge piece of the puzzle to make sure that we are, because that's kind of our, a little bit of our guidance of what we're, what we're supposed to be doing um, um, in general for, for um, planning purposes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I, di I didn't see that in here, but I, I, I wanted to point that out. And I, I completely agree that I've been working on taking this list, compiling a list from the comprehensive plan for short, medium, <laughs> long, ongoing, and then applying to say, which one of these, where do they fit in there? Um, so the impact fees are done, that was on the list. Uh, the innovation district is working on that, we're doing that. Um, then a lot of the different aspects for code changes for rural, rural character, um, the conservation districts, certain things like that that need to be incorporated in the code and then as we've been using like the plan district, plan provisions, regulations, and green lights, those need to be updated. So now it's, you know, it's one big project that we can knock a bunch of things off the list. So we're working on creating those lists and matching it up. Will you be the quarterback of that? Because there's other people that are involved in this, obviously. There's the parks district, there's parks manager that's involved in that. Mm -hmm. There's engineering that's involved in that. All kinds of people that have to-do lists, essentially, or action items, I guess they were called. Um, who, who monitors that? That would be me. Okay. So we'll, planning and zoning department, because a lot of them are planning related, but if you look at the uh, party, the responsible parties in there, it might go from public service or engineering. So. I've gotten a lot of feedback working with Alan to say, we need to change this and this and this. So he's well aware, but then it'll be, we've done the zoning part, now we need to talk about the engineering part or with the parks department to say, you know, we need to focus on this, what do you want us to do there? So we'll okay. quarterback it, but make sure that we involve the necessary parties to make sure it's correct and accurate. Okay, great, thanks. Cool, um, anything else? No, sir. Get back to us on the executive session. I, I don't, I'll get back to you on the executive session, and I'll probably talk to leadership, coincidentally sitting up here, about the grow. What I find out about grow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good night, Scotty. Oh.
Good. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Me? Yes. Walter? Yes. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Nate. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it.